Today, Jesus asks a man, do you want to be healed? Oh, that's a strange question. Asking that fella, who's been flat on his back for nearly four decades, laying near the healing waters of Bethesda, if he wanted to be healed? Well, duh, Jesus. <laughs> I've been lying here for 38 years, but there's nobody here to plunge me into the healing waters. By the time I get there, someone takes my place in line. And then Jesus says to the man, orders the man, in fact, stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. And the man picks up his mat and walks. Now, being a person in recovery, that question of Jesus actually makes sense. Because truth be told, a lot of us aren't as interested in being healed. We just want to feel better right now. As long as we can just work around the edges and continue to justify in our own minds some nuance why we still do the crazy things we do, we convince ourselves and others that our problems are because of this or that or you or somebody else. That's not healing. That's making excuses. To be healed means to first recognize our need for healing and wanting it so badly that we're going to stand up and stop feeling sorry for ourselves. We're going to pick up our mat and put away our rationalizations and excuses. We're going to walk the path that brings healing to our hearts and souls every day. The path of forgiveness and compassion, of humility and mercy and justice. If Jesus had healed that man and he just stayed unmovable on the mat, just kept lying there, that fella then didn't embrace the healing. He had to put some effort into it himself and work the program Jesus gave him to stand up and to get moving. Let's ask Jesus for the courage to take up whatever help is offered to us. And let's stand up ourselves and take up our mat and walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Let's realize that God has given you and me the gift of life and move forward. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a move forward Tuesday.